Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do for so long, which is getting my brows nanobladed. Not microbladed, nanobladed. It's like the newer microblading, I guess. They say it's less invasive than microblading. So whenever I get to the salon, I'll kind of go into more depth about like the whole process and everything. And that's why I wanted to film it for you guys, because I feel like it is a bit of a newer like procedure i don't know if you would call it that but i wanted to just kind of go through my journey with it so i'm getting it done today monday and apparently like four to five days after they start like flaking i'm not even sure what that looks like or what that even means so i guess we'll find out a little bit more when we go over to the salon i'm going to nimbus ink beauty you can find them on instagram her name's maria and i found her on instagram actually she's so many before and afters and i was definitely drawn to her content out of everyone that i like researched so i'm very very excited to be getting it done with her and I feel like she just like knows her shit you know so she's actually located in Cedar Park which is about 35 minute drive from where I am right now so we're gonna head out in a little bit but I don't know I'm nervous like I don't know what to expect it's like literally getting a tattoo on your face and I honestly told myself I would never get a tattoo this is technically a tattoo so you know wild child over I'm here bring my whole camera set up so you guys can see the full process and we'll also get into how much it costs Are you kidding? This is like the most aesthetic studio I've ever seen. So cute. We're about to get started with the process, but I wanted to do a little interview session because I feel like I have so many questions yeah. even though I'm already here. First question I have for you is what's the difference between microblading and nanoblading? So the difference between the two is going to be the tool being used. So microblading is a blade and then nano is going to be a fine needle. Mm -hmm. um, nano is less invasive than microblading. What is like pre and post care? What do you recommend to do? I know you said don't use like acidity around yes. the eyebrows before. Yeah, so before no retinols. Pretty much just avoid anything that has any harsh chemicals on the actual eyebrows. Mm -hmm. um, just do it like gentle wash beforehand and also the day of um, just avoiding caffeine any teas mm -hmm. um, any ibuprofen or any like um, blood thinners or anything like that mm -hmm. and then after care it's going to be a balm that you're going to be applied to the, okay. just the brow area and you're also going to still avoid any retinols anything with acids that's just going to make the color just fade a little bit too soon okay what is the pain level of this so it varies because everybody has a different like pain tolerance right. But I would say with nano, it is minimal. It feels more like a scratching um, on the skin, okay. but the numbing is applied. Um, it also has epinephrine, so it's really gonna just numb the whole area and you won't feel a thing. Usually clients just fall asleep when it gets oh, to that part. Love that. Yeah, I'm excited for my little <laughs> nap. How long does it usually last? So it lasts about one, two, or three years, but it really just depends on the lifestyle. Okay. Let's say that you um, are a swimmer, if you go out on, like in the summer, mm -hmm. um, if you sweat a lot, you can do like a year, but if you're more like an indoor person, okay. um, roughly two to three years, really just depends on the lifestyle and also like your skin, how good it takes the pigment or how soon it fades. For oily skin, naturally, it starts to fade out a lot sooner, roughly okay. about a year, but a year is gonna be the goal. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, the better that you take care of them, the longer that they're gonna last you. Mm -hmm. And then what is the difference between like how long it lasts uh, between like the microblading? Is there any difference between that? Uh, so nano does last a little bit longer okay. um, because the microblading, again, you're like opening the skin to put pigment in there. Usually by a year, it's already coming out. Okay. So I do see microblading fades a lot faster, um, okay. sometimes even before a year for certain clients, but it's supposed to last a year. What makes someone a good candidate? For, so for the nano? Yeah. yeah, so for the nano it's a lot easier. Again, microblading, it's not good for oily skin. Okay. Also for sensitive skin or large pores. Nano, you can pretty much get away with pretty much anything, um, but just keep in mind that you're just more prone for it to um, fade out a lot faster, even with the nano. But mm -hmm. even with oily skin, it's okay to have it. Mm -hmm. um, again, you're just looking about a year versus the two or three year mark. Do you have to come in for touch-ups? after the first session? You do. So you get the first session, mm -hmm. um, roughly around four to six weeks. We mm -hmm. want to get that time frame. We want to go back in and we want to add to the eyebrow. Mm -hmm. um, usually the areas that you fall asleep on, that area tends to fail a lot more or the areas that we're driving on because we're more like in the sun. Oh, yeah. So for the touch up in four to six weeks, we'll get any areas. And usually people want to start off natural. That's mm -hmm. always my goal. Mm -hmm. So by the second touch up, we're able to add and build the brows. Mm -hmm. um, from then, you're going to be good for a year up to two years. It's going to be depending on like how um, filled in you want them or how right. many more hair strokes you want to add to okay. them. But the goal is not to do them sooner because, of course, you want to keep the brows as natural as possible mm -hmm. without going in and just adding more to the skin. And then what is your background and how long have you been doing brows? So I started with makeup. Uh, it's already been a little bit over more than 10 years okay. uh, or a little bit longer than 10 years. 
And I just loved being in the beauty industry, but I had a full time. I worked at a lab, and that was my safe job because mm -hmm. I was not a business owner. So I'm like, oh, I just want to just get insurance and do all the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I wasn't ready, but I want to say it was in 2020, mm -hmm. yes, right, when we could get back into like socializing and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I, I decided, I'm like, you know what, I want to be in the beauty industry and mm -hmm. I want to do brows specifically because I got my brows done and I loved it. I'm like, oh, I want to wake up like this every day. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing the whole process of it. Mm -hmm. And then my friend that actually does brows, she's like, oh, you can totally do it. Like, you do makeup, like, it's going to be in the same, like, type of um, art. Yeah. So I went to Dallas to do a training mm -hmm. um, under Feet Brow and they're the best in the world, like in Europe and here. What's it called? Uh, Feet Brow. Feet Brows? Okay. Yeah, they're huge. Um, so I went to a Dallas training um, and then I just, I instantly fell in love. I think there was maybe like 14 of us and it wasn't easy, but it was very fun learning. Mm -hmm. And um, by the end of the class, I just, I found myself even in that moment like, helping other students mm -hmm. just because naturally I was like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Like I did a hair stroke and I'm like, and even when it's I did. It's so satisfying too. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And then when I went in there to even do a little bit of the powder, I hadn't held a machine before, but I started doing powder mm -hmm. and then uh, the, the trainer comes up and she's like, oh, you already do powder brows? And I'm like, no, what? this is my first time holding a machine. So that's gave me so much yeah, confidence totally. like, yeah, I'm doing the right thing like mm -hmm. I love doing this and then I just came back um, right away I started getting models I like put out like a Facebook thing of like hey friends family who yeah. wants eyebrows yeah. and sure enough I had like clients like maybe twice in a week when mm -hmm. I started so I quit oh, my full-time awesome. job I went straight into brows from then on um, got my LLC did everything mm -hmm. and then just I took off right into where I'm at That's now. Awesome. So now it's roughly been what three about to be four years. Final question is how much does this procedure cost? Would you call it a procedure? I wouldn't that. Yeah, but yeah, some people do call it a procedure or okay. treatment. Treatment. Um, um, so with my current cost, it's five fifty. The okay. nano is six fifty, so five fifty for the other techniques, six fifty, and of course nano is a little bit more because again it's less invasive and the technique is very detailed. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot more work than you put into it, totally. but it can go up to a thousand dollars. So that's all the questions I have, and hopefully that was a little bit more informative for you guys to learn because I know whoever's searching this video is yeah. probably wanting to know everything and anything about yeah. nano blading. Um, so let's get into the process. I'm so excited. So on the arches, you see they're like more pointed I would mm -hmm. like them to be more curved okay and then like right here is where the hair got taken out and it never grows back and that's like my main concern hers is more of a lamination looks so hers is okay. it, they're more up see how these hair on this side they're a little mm -hmm. bit up I think I but, like the first one better okay like more natural yeah so we can do that especially with your um like the arches we want to keep the front hair strokes going up a yeah. little bit but out yeah. and then we'll focus on these just setting into place that way you can still brush your hair your actual hair up mm -hmm. and you can still get that look but yeah. everything else will be just nice and, Perfect. and clean and going with the flow Perfect. Yeah. okay okay Okay, so this is the hair pattern that you naturally have. Mm -hmm. um, this one doesn't do what this one does, but we're gonna add it on this one just because naturally your hair is gonna be, is gonna have like this flow. So um, you have a really good arch. So this is where it naturally, like where it's at. So I wanna keep it where it's at without extending it too much, but mm -hmm. we are gonna round it out. Um, you have your hair strokes here. They're gonna come out a little bit more. We're gonna do more hair strokes this way, but we're gonna focus on shading in, especially like this little area. Mm -hmm. That way it has the same volume all throughout the eyebrow. But yeah, so this is your shape. I just need your approval. What do you think? Yeah, I love it. You love it? Yeah. Okay. So now we talked about the shape, we talked about the hair strokes, we're mm -hmm. doing nano. Um, I wanted to show you the color. Okay. So this is the one I would recommend. Um, okay. It's called Hannah Pie. This can be a black brown. Okay. I'm gonna shake it up and I'm gonna show you a little bit right here that way you can see the color. Of it. Sounds good. But it's in the brown family. So it will heal 
maybe just 20% lighter, but mm -hmm. of course we want something dark because your hair is naturally dark and your mm -hmm. eyebrows are dark and going too light can just, I mean, you're gonna be able to tell the difference. Right, right. And you can see there's some chocolatey tones in there. Yeah. Um, and that's what we want. So yeah, yeah that's pretty straightforward. We're done with one brow, right? This is yes, we're done finished. With one. Should put the numbing gel on it, and we're on to the next. So what we did is we added the pigment that I used to the eyebrow, so that's just so we can soak in a little bit more. Um, we usually leave it on for like maybe less than 10 minutes, but we want to just enhance the color a little bit more. What would you rate the the aim? Yeah. Um, I don't know, like maybe like a two, like a it two. really wasn't that bad. Good. I just got finished with the brows and look how beautiful they are. I feel like I'm going to stare at my brows like all day long now because like these hair strokes, they're just so beautiful. And they look so natural too, like they look like my hair. Yeah, and you can see here. That's crazy. They do kind of look like I got my brows laminated, which I love the fluffy brow look. Aftercare for this is going to be no sun, mm -hmm. seven days, no sweating. Okay. That means no exercises. Okay. Um, you also want to make sure that you keep the face nice and clean. You don't mm -hmm. want to put any makeup on the actual eyebrow area. Okay. If you do need to put on some foundation, make sure you're not using a sponge or a brush. Make sure that you're just okay. patting it around. Fingers. But we want to keep, yeah, but we want to keep the brows as clean as possible and away okay. from any bacteria. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you an ointment to put on them daily, just mm -hmm. once a day, but very minimal. Mm -hmm. um, to clean them, you do want to use just a cotton ball. Put it under water, squeeze all the water out, and then just dab it on the area, and then okay. clean them right away, because we want to keep them moisture-free um, as long as possible, just for the seven days. Got it. So in around like four weeks, four to six weeks, you're going to come in. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a touch-up, so any areas of the hair strokes that tend to just get a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. we'll go back in there and we'll add more color to them. Okay. Um, then you're going to be good for roughly, like, let's say a year or two depending again on your lifestyle if you're out in the sun if you're hiking if mm -hmm. you're like swimming a lot you can, right. it's going to be more than likely a year okay. but you always just let me know you can always shoot me a text message and okay. take a picture of them and ask me like right. okay where am i at do i need to touch up and i can let you know if it's time or if you can hold off it a little bit longer okay perfect but yes yay they're gonna scab over in like four to five days right right and yes. then that's when they'll like kind of lighten up they'll line up yes and then the pigment will come back out and then we'll do a touch up in around four to six weeks and yeah, but you're good to go. I'm so excited. So good. They're gonna be pretty dark for the next couple of days until they scab off and then that's when they kind of lighten up. That's what she said. So I'm excited to see the final result, but up close and personal, like the hair strokes are so crazy to see. Like they look so natural and I know it looks crazy right now, but gotta trust the process. It's a little over a month later and I'm back with Maria for my touch-up. Today we're doing a touch-up. Um, so now I came in about four weeks ago and during that process it goes through a healing period. So she noticed at first they were nice and bold. Mm -hmm. After that they went through a scabbing phase and they started disappearing. And it wasn't and that bad actually. Like really this, when you scabbing. told me it was gonna scab I was like worried because I had social plans that weekend and I was like yeah. oh no. But it really wasn't that bad. It so was I'm, tiny flakes. Was it itchy yes. at all? So first um, like, a little. A little. Yeah. Like in a certain spot. Gotcha. So then it lines up and then the color resurfaces and it also heals very light. So mm -hmm. it's not going to be as intense when the color comes back. Mm -hmm. But it does come back very slowly. Um, so the touch up is because we go back in any areas that are too light. We just go and we add color. This is your first time so that your skin is fresh. Mm -hmm. So we just make sure that we just go back in and make the color a little bit bolder. So you're good to go for like a year or two. Mm -hmm. Also depending on like if you're working out a lot, if right. you're out in the sun, they can fade faster. So you're more than likely to come back in a year or so. All right, but let's yeah. do it. Okay, now that I cleaned the eyebrows, I'm taking a look at the color. Now this one held really well. You can see the strokes here. Mm -hmm. This one in the beginning did well. But this one, which was our problem eyebrow, mm -hmm. um, the strokes are very, the hair strokes are very, very faint. 
So we're going to go ahead and add a deeper color so we can darken it up. Mm -hmm. And also we're going to go just a little bit deeper so it can stick on this one. But of course this is a situation where you want to build the brows and you never want to do too much in the first session. Right. You want to see how the skin does. And again, this is what the touch up is for. So we can go in and we can go back in and we can make them a little bit darker, a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to remap everything, Sonali, okay. and then I'm going to show you when we're done. So mm -hmm. we can again go back to our game plan okay. of making them fuller and fluffier and then we'll be good to go from there. Sounds good. are done and now we have to go through the healing process again and honestly the hardest part about this whole thing is just waiting to see the results because they look so good the first day but again they do scab over they do lighten and then they come back with the color she shaded in more on this eyebrow it's just always been my problem eyebrow and it's always been just a little less hairy than the other one i have to stay out of the sun i cannot sweat and i also cannot touch them with water for seven days i wanted to give you guys an update on my nano brows i got the first session done in december i believe the first touch up after the first session was in january and now it is march and this is what my brows look like this is without any brow product in them as you can see this is still the better brow i feel like it is perfect i don't know what is going on with this brow and like why it just is not really taking as well as this one but i think i'm gonna text maria and see if she could do a mini touch up for this brow just because i feel like i want it filled in a little bit more on the top but other than that i think they look so good here is my before and after side by side it's honestly a bigger difference than i even realized i didn't really even know that my brows were that sparse until i looked at these before and after photos and i was like damn like i i guess i really needed this treatment so do i have any regrets doing nano brows absolutely not because even though i still have to fill in like a tiny tiny bit on my brows it's nowhere near how much I had to draw on my brows during my whole makeup routine. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what I do for my brows right now. I use a brow gel. This is the clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just kind of go in with this. It kind of gives that really nice brushed up laminated look. And then I use literally the cheapest eyebrow pencil in the world, but it lasts forever. This is from LA Girl. And I just fill in a little tiny bit on this brow because obviously it's perfect. And then this brow, I do need a little bit more like under the arch and like right here. Before I even did the nano brows, I swear I had to fill in like almost this whole brow is what it felt like. I was also looking back at photos of me just with my filled in brows before I had the nano brows done. And they really did not look like sisters they didn't look like cousins they could have passed for friends but honestly ever since my nano brows i feel like they've looked so much more even even if i'm filling them in because it's almost like a mapped out area of where i should fill it in so it's been really nice to have that and i also find that i just like to do a lighter hand with this brow pencil because i again don't really need much it's what they look like after they've been filled in and for the days that i don't wear makeup and want to still look a little bit presentable i will just use the clear brow gel i honestly couldn't recommend maria enough from nimbus inc she's located again in cedar park so very close to austin and if you guys are interested in booking with her when you're filling out the form put my name down as a referral because that will get you money off of your service i hope you guys found this video educational and helpful if you guys have any other questions about my experience Experience, feel free to DM me on Instagram, but if it's a question about the service, go ahead and DM Maria. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!